Hello and welcome. Today we make the blacks into white. Interested? Let me share the seven steps that work all the time. First, let's have a look at the end result. Pretty amazing. What do they say again? White is the new black? Well, it will be for this video. Let me turn off all the adjustments and go one by one through the seven steps. Step one is to duplicate the original image and mask the white area. Here is the mask we will be using. Let me turn back on the original image. Keep in mind that the following steps will only be applied to this mask image layer. This brings us to step two, adding a recolor adjustment. The lightness will need to be set all the way to the left, minus 100%. For the blend mode, we needed to put it to overlay or soft light. The idea of the step is to darken the whites and move them closer to gray. Let's quickly continue with step number three by adding a black and white adjustment layer to remove all the color information. Step four is the most important step, adding a curves adjustment layer to convert the white into gray tones. Adjust the control points until there is no more white. You probably will end up with a curve shown right now. Furthermore, adjust the blend settings just like shown. Your goal here is not to lose the details in the shadows. Now we come to the magical step. Step number five, a selective color adjustment. As we now only have gray tones in our image, it's now possible to adjust them under the neutrals. So let's change the black values under the neutrals in the adjustment. And let's not forget to change the blend mode to overlay. Like magic, the car is now officially black. Now, the next two steps are optional. Remember, black is never really black in reality. It will always contain some ambient color. For example, if we look closely, you can see the tires contain a blue halo. So, to make the black of this car realistic, we also need a blue halo to it, which brings us to step number six, adding an adjustment layer to add some ambient color tone. In our example, blue. Let's set the opacity of this layer around 25% and change its blend mode to add. Once done, let's move to step seven, which is copying the last curves layer and setting its blend mode to normal. Now, by modifying the opacity of these two layers, you can get a realistic black that fits with the image. The first curves layer can be used for controlling the lightness and the second curves for the amount of color. I think the end result is pretty amazing. Now, it is possible that some areas might not look very natural. Maybe there is something wrong with the color or it is too bright. For example, in my opinion, the mirrors are too bright for this image. So we need to do some manual adjustments. Just add a pixel layer above the selected color layer and paint with gray. As I want to have it darkened, I put the blend mode to darken. Looks much better in my opinion. Before I leave you, let me show that these steps are universal. Here is an image of a girl with a white shirt. I already masked the shirt. Let's copy the adjustments from the car and paste it in this image. And it's like magic. The white shirt is black instantly. As we also copied the halo color correction from the car, we need to adjust this. The ambient color here in this image is more brownish. So let's adjust the two curves layer accordingly. 
and it looks much more natural already. As the conversion to white is all done with adjustments, you can change and fine tune them anytime or even go completely crazy like converting the white to gold. Here is the gold car for example. By playing with the selective color adjustment, you can change the color to your liking. Have fun experimenting and I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching and until next time.